Hello everyone. So today we are going to look at another basic mathematics question to find prime factors of a number. All right. So in the previous video we saw how to find a prime factor, right? And uh, what is a prime number? All right. Now see here. Let's start with this example here. Input is what? 12, right? So what would be the prime factors of this number? So to uh, brush up your memory, let me tell you about prime factors. So prime factors are the factors of a divisor, which in this case here, input is the divisor, which is 12, and the factors of this number, which are prime, right? Yes. All right. So what would be the fact prime factors of this number? Two is going to be a prime factor. Two is again going to be a prime factor. And then three is going to be a prime factor. So in basic elementary school level, what we used to do was we'll divide the number, right? Six, we'll divide the number again. We'll get three. Then we'll divide 3 and then we'll get 1. And this is the prime factorization of this number, right? And this is what we have to find. Suppose input is 315. Right? Then what? Let's, you know, divide by 7. Yes. Then let's divide it by 5. Yes, let's divide by 3 and we'll then again divide by 3 and we'll get 1, right? So, this is, you know, what we have to find. Right, hence our output is this, alright. Now, pause this video and try to find a solution for this, okay? Now, I hope you must have like tried a solution. So let's talk about it. So there are basically, you know, two ideas of the solution. First, we know that divisor will always appear in pair, right? For suppose 30, this is, you know, thing. So we can say that X is less than equal to n and uh, square root right we talked about this in the prime checker video right and then we are going to say that number can be extra expressed as multiplication of powers of prime factor which we saw here right and you can see it here also okay 12 you know 2 into 2 into 3 4 of this 2 into 3 into 3 into 5 into 5 right now we have seen the idea which we are going to use in the solution so try to find it find the algorithm on your own so the algorithm would work like that we have a loop where we will declare a iterator i which will run from 2 till root of square root of n till this number because the divisors always appear in pair and this is how we'll find a prime number which will if there is a num prime factor of a number which will divide it so we'll find it in under root n time in under root n right okay then what you're gonna do is you're gonna divide it you're gonna divide n or the number as long as it gets divided okay as you can see 12 12 is first our first prime number which will divide it is going to be 2 right 12 will divide 2 12 will now become what 6 you can see that 12, 2 will again divide it so we'll again divide it by 2 
the two will come out to be three and then we'll divide it by three right in the same way we are going to do for 450 we're going to divide it by two right it will become 225 we'll divide it by three it will again get divided by three then we'll divide by five and it will again get divided by five and that's how we'll find it right now let's try doing a dry run for it so first our i would be what two so we'll gonna print two then we are going to divide 50 by 2 now n is going to be 450 by 2 which is 225 all right now i and we can see that 225 will not divide by 2 now all right now we what we uh, what we are going to do is we'll put i as 3 all right so what we are going to do is we are going to print 3 and we are going to divide 225 by 3 which is going to be 35 sorry 75 yes and then we will check 75 will get divided by 3 again yes it will it will come out to be 25 right now we are going to take i4 we can see that it will not divide 25 hence we will skip this we will go to i5 then we are we can see that 25 will get divided by 5 hence we will print 5 now our 25 by 5 becomes 1 becomes 5 sorry yes now we'll again print 5 and then we'll divide 5 by 5 which is going to be 1 hence this is going to be the correct output right so this is the algorithm which we are going to do for this problem so let's try and code it all right let's include the header file first let's have a main function where we'll have the divisor it will be a user defined divisor and then we are going to call a function print prime which will you know print all the numbers now let's make a the parameter is going to be user defined uh input all right so first see if n is equal to 1 what we are going to do is see out invalid right because see n is not a prime number so or n is you know n won't be having any prime divisor right you can see that it's a you know common sense so now we'll have a loop here where we have i as 2 i we'll run it for till here right till root n and now what i'm saying is while i while n if we Okay, this sentence means what? That i is a prime factor of a number, right? 
that is you know equal to zero we are going to we are going to do what c out i let's have a break in every prime divisor and now we are going to change n as n divided by i right so this is the idea like which see suppose i is 3 so we can see that 225 will get divided by 3 so we printed 3 first now what we what we did is we divided we changed n to n by i it becomes 75 and then we uh, have a while loop so we'll see that n which is now our 75 is again getting divided by 3 so we'll print 3 right so this is how we are proceeding with this loop right so so this, that's how this program is going to run right now now suppose n is 13 right a prime number what would be the prime factors of a prime number the number itself right the number itself so for that we'll simply use the loop if n is greater than 1 we are simply going to see out n all right now if you are having a little bit confusion about this thing i'll make it clear to you um okay suppose n is a prime number mm, 101 it is a prime number yes so for this we are going to use loop till 101 root we can say like roughly to 10 right? since it is a prime number there would be no um prime factors of this number right so till 2 2 to 10 there is not going to be a prime factor uh, of this number hence uh, our n would be unaltered and it is going to be only this so we just said that if n is greater than 1 we are just going to print that number okay so that is how this code is going to uh, work right now let's 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 um try to run it for a solution suppose 450 right user input is 450 okay hmm i guess we're printing something oh yes sorry my bad this loop you can see is going to be outside this right yes now let's edit for what if take see two three three five five that was the required output yes let's try and do it for suppose to it two two three yeah see that that is the solution here so i hope you got it clear that what is prime factors and how to find a prime factor of a number through program all right so i'll end this lecture for today and see you next time